Hey everybody, welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. I am so excited to do this video for y'all. I have been working so hard on this list for weeks now. Basically after the V11 software update, there was a lot of things that went from being on the home screen into folders. And so instead of it being a one step, one touch kind of thing to get to that setting, it was now a two step or three step process. And the first thing that kind of prompted me to make this video and to find these voice commands was my <laughs> irritation with not being able to adjust the seat warmer as easily because now we have to go into climate to adjust that. This is just a list of voice commands for the climate. That is the climate and seat warmers. Most of them I figured out on my own after playing with the car for the last few weeks and just trying over and over and over again several things. But a few things I did find on a Google spreadsheet that someone named Douglas created. I follow him on Twitter. His Twitter handle is life with MIDI or life MIDI. And he actually created a Google spreadsheet with a lot of voice commands that he and other Tesla owners have come up with. And he created that for a forum called Tesla Owners Online. And I am a part of that forum as well. I'm not very active in there at all, but I am a part of it. And no, this is not sponsored in any way. I'm just a nice person. And since I got some of these voice commands from him, I want to make sure that he gets credit for them. It's it's kind of crazy that there's not a designated list of voice commands for Tesla. And this also came about because I did put a tweet out that said, why isn't there a list from Tesla that says like these are the voice commands that, you know, for sure work. And that's because Tesla uses a natural language processor. That means that it's a computer software that actually learns the human language and how we speak and how we you know, talk and ask for things. So the car is constantly learning. And that's why the Tesla community is always sharing with each other new things that we have figured out that work. Some things are totally crazy and some things are actually so rated R and inappropriate that I am not going to include them in here, but I will give you a few hints at the end about things that you can try, but I'm not gonna say them directly because this is a family channel. But that is one reason that I just freaking love this car. There is so many crazy things. And because of that processor that they use, we are able to give the car some insane commands and it's actually able to execute them. So we have a lot of stuff to cover today. <laughs> so let's get started. Disable life support. Enable life support. Turn life support off. Turn life support on. Turn climate off. Turn climate on. Activate defogger. So this will turn on your front windshield defogger. That is the cool air on the front windshield. Defogger off. And that turns it off. Turn off recirculate. Recirculate on. Turn climate on auto. Turn climate auto off. Front defrost. This turns the heat on on the front windshield. Front defrost off. And that turns it back off. Rear defrost. That turns on the heating coils on the back window. And you do not have cool um, or defogger for the back window. You only have heat because it has the heating coils in there. Rear defrost off. Set fan to level five. Set temperature to 69 degrees. Split climate. So now we have them unsynced. Sync climate. 
and now we have synced it back again. I'm hot. This reduces the temperature by three degrees. I'm cold. Increases temperature by three degrees. Now if we split it, we can also control the temperature individually. Split climate. So now we have unsynced them. Set driver temperature to 72 degrees. So now we've set the driver temperature and messed with that, but we have not messed with the back seat and passenger temperature. And now we can control just the passenger temperature by saying set, passion, set passenger temperature to 70 degrees. And I stuttered quite a bit and it still picked it up. So that's pretty impressive as well. Climate keeper on. So that keeps your climate on while you exit the car. So if you're going shopping in the summertime and it's super, super hot outside and you're gonna be in there for like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes grocery shopping and you come back out with ice cream and you want the car to be cold, then you can just leave your climate on while you go in the store and go shopping and you'll come back and it will stay whatever temperature you set it at. And you can keep this on for as long as you want. And that's kind of the same as dog mode and camp mode, but not exactly. And you can leave it on heat or cold or turn it off all from your phone and your Tesla app. Climate keeper off. Dog mode on. Dog mode off. Not disabled it. Camp mode on. Camp mode off. Give me one piece of bacon on the driver's seat. So that will set only the driver's seat to low. Give me two pieces of bacon on the driver's seat. That will give you two pieces of bacon right here. Give me three pieces of bacon on the driver's seat. Driver's seat set to high. Turn driver seat warmer off. And that disables it. Then if we have um, all of the seat warmers on, we can say turn seat warmers off. And that will turn all of them off, including the rear. Give me one piece of bacon on the passenger seat. Give me two pieces of bacon on the passenger seat. Yep, that works again. and doesn't turn on anything except the passenger seat. Give me three pieces of bacon on the passenger seat. So when you ask it to give you three pieces of bacon on the passenger seat, that actually enables the driver's seat as well. So that's like a little, a little thing that doesn't work properly, but it's pretty close. Turn passenger seat warmer off. My butt is cold. So this one you can say over and over again until you get the right level that you want. My butt is hot. And it will subtract by one when you say my butt is hot. So those, my butt is cold and my butt is hot, you can basically just repeat until you get the level that you want. Driver seat warmer low. That puts it on level one. Driver seat warmer medium. Driver seat warmer high. Passenger seat warmer low. Let's we'll see if that worked, yep. Passenger seat warmer medium. Passenger seat warmer high. And that just adjusts the passenger seat. That doesn't adjust any other ones. And it doesn't adjust the um, back seat, only the passenger seat. Turn passenger seat warmer off. Rear seat warmers low. Now for this one, I'm not able to control the back seats individually. We can only control them as a full row, but it does only control the rear seats and not the two front seats. So that's pretty cool. Rear seat warmers medium. 
Now we have two strips. Rear seat warmers high. Now it gave us three strips of bacon back there. Turn rear seat warmers off. And now it's disabled them. This one's pretty fun. Warm up my butt. <laughs> now, let's see. We have the fan on level five. So let's try this one. Blow me. Fan increased by one. This one's pretty fun. Eject passenger seat. And that turns on the seat warmer on the passenger seat. Let's turn this one off so we can see this one. Eject driver seat. And that turns on the seat warmer on the driver seat. Now this one is really, really cool. I actually figured this out on the Tesla website under voice commands. Move driver vent up. And that actually adjusts the air vent for you. Move driver vent down. So when you tell it to move the vent down, it actually just points it straight out. You don't have an option in voice commands for it to do this. This is considered down, this is up, left, and right. Move driver vent to the left. Move driver vent to the right. So it's only adjusting the driver vent. It's not adjusting the passenger vent, which is very impressive. Move passenger vent up. Move passenger vent right. Move passenger vent to the left. Move passenger vent down. And that's considered down. Turn on feet vent. And that turns on your uh, feet vent down here. Turn feet vent off. And that will disable it. This one is considered the um, windshield vent. It will actually come out up here. It comes out of the same area as the front defrost or defogger, but you can um, set the temperature to whatever you want. So look for this one. Turn windshield vent on. And that enables that one up there. Turn windshield vent off. Um, whenever we have it on just feet, I can't figure out a voice command for this middle vent right here. Um, so if you have a voice command for that, let everybody know, but I couldn't figure that one out, this one right here. Open HVAC controls. That pulls it up. Open climate controls. That pulls it up as well. And you can also just swipe up from the bottom of your screen. Here is another one. We're going to go to our toy box and fireplace and we can change the fan speed. Set fireplace fan to level 10. I am able to control the fan in the fireplace and I am able to set it back to whatever the automatic settings are for fireplace, but I haven't figured out a way to change the temperature. It looks like you used to be able to change the temperature according to um, the Google spreadsheet, but I am not able to get it to um, execute that today. So I'm not sure if that's something that changed. Um, again, I don't know. Um, what to use as a voice command for this center vent here. I wasn't able to find a voice command to turn the rear fan on and off. And um, I wasn't able to figure out how to 
put your seat warmers on auto when you have the climate on auto. I do know that you have to have the climate on auto in order to put the seat warmers on auto, but even still, I couldn't find a voice command for that. I hope this video was super helpful to you. I worked really, really hard on this video, and I know it was kind of long because I showed me actually using the voice commands in the video, but I wanted you to see when I'm speaking how the car is actually picking up my voice and then how it kind of deciphers that and turns it into a command for actually doing something. Because, you know, some of these things are, are pretty far out there and you wouldn't expect them to be, you know, just naturally there in the car. Let me know the commands that you're going to use most and which ones you need before and which ones are new to you. I would love to hear it. Let me know if you have any kind of resolution or suggestions for the three things that we could not find. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see y'all next time.